Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Spotlight. And today I'm talking about the 1973 film Don't Look in the Basement, or as it's also known as The Forgotten. It's pleasant here, don't you think, Mrs. Kellingham? Do you get out often? It's you who need to get out. <laughs> yes, I remember. You were going to tell me why. Oh, up the airy mountain, down the rushing glen, we cannot go hunting because of little men. Oh, Bobby! Don't Look in the Basement is directed by S.F. Brownrigg and it's starring Bill McGee and Rosie Haltick. A young psychiatric nurse is hired to work at a small asylum where the doctor has a unique and safer treatment for the mentally ill. And the day she arrives at the asylum, there's a murder most foul. Don't Look in the Basement is a 1973 drive-in movie classic. The film was the B-movie that was teamed up with Wes Craven's Last House on the Left in drive-in theaters throughout the States. When the film was released in the UK, the BBFC, British Board of Film Classification, forced the filmmakers to cut a close-up of a woman taking an axe in the chest, which they did. But the film still ended up on the Video Nasties list. Now, if you're wondering what the Video Nasties were, in short, it was a list of very gory films that were banned in the UK. Later in 2005, when the film was released on DVD, the close-up was added back in. So what do I like about this movie? Well, first, this is one of those horror films that has an amazing concept, but just didn't have the budget to pull it off. Now, I've said it before in other videos that the best kind of movies to do a remake of are the movies that almost got it. Like, you know, instead of hitting a home run, they got a double. That's what I'm trying to say this film is. This movie is good, but there's some things that you definitely have to look past in order to enjoy it. One thing this movie does suffer from is bad pacing, and it really slows down in the first act. Now, by the time you get to the second act, and they're more into the mystery of the film and what's going on, then the movie really shines and takes off, and it holds your interest. But it just feels like, oh my god, can we just freaking get there. Another thing that's kind of weird in this film is the editing. There's some really strange like jump cuts, like I'm talking YouTube level jump cut. Now as luck would have it, there has been some attempts to remake this film. It was announced in 2008 that it was kind of, you know, floating around out there, and then again in 2017. But here it is 2022 and there's really nothing out there. Now if you ask me, who I think would be a great director of a film like Don't Look in the Basement if it were to get a remake, I would have to say Eli Roth. I would love to see what Eli Roth could do if he was handed a remake script of this film. So all in all, this is a really interesting and entertaining film that uh, you should check out, and it's slowly but surely being forgotten, and uh, if we don't get that remake, it probably will be forgotten in a couple of years. So hey, check this out while you can. So if you're curious and you want to check out Don't look in the basement or as it's also known the forgotten you can currently find it streaming with commercials on tubi tv and pluto tv and if you're a subscriber to amazon prime you can watch it there without commercials for free okay guys that brings us to the end of another film geek video if you liked what you saw here today go ahead and subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications and give me the old thumbs up so i know you like what you're seeing and if there's another thing you can do folks that is keep watching movies you know I'm gonna.